And I think one of the important things that you said earlier was you go there and it's basically a tryout. Like they want to exactly. make sure that these are the things that they're looking for. Do you show mm -hmm. up all the time? Do you show up yeah. late all the time? Are you right. early mm -hmm. all the time? Exactly. When I, ask, when I ask you to do things, are you, do mm -hmm. you catch an attitude? What's the exactly. quality of your work and how do you finish your work? Right. And how you present your exactly. work? Exactly. Right. Do you just do bare mm -hmm. minimum or do you, do you actually go to the extra mile and present right. something that, that you're actually proud of no matter how, how exciting or mundane it is? And can you right. make exactly. that thing better as an artist? You know? Right. Exactly. One thing that, that's awesome, Charlie. Like one thing that, uh, my line producer Mercedes always says that stuck with me is it's easier to teach someone the software and the tools and the, and the skills than it is to teach someone how to have a good attitude. And that's mm -hmm. something that always sticks with me because you're right. It's, you can't teach someone how to be a different person, you know, right. and by being a good person, by being someone who goes the extra mile, who, you know, is excited about whatever tasks they're, that they're given that's something that helps you break into the industry or whatever industry you're pursuing because at the end of the day it's you're surrounded by other people you know right. in the end it's yeah. all about communication and they want to make sure you're cool and fun to work with yeah. exactly no one it, wants to work with someone who has a doo-doo face on every day yeah yeah or who's who's exactly. super who's super cynical and then the work's mediocre also that's not that's going to put you on right. the map you to, it's being to, being to, just if you're if you're and, a normal artist with a bad attitude, yeah. But but I want to I want to strike, strike two. Too. Show up late. That's strike three. We're good. <laughs> Goodbye. You can, yeah. you can stay home now. But I want I want to also <laughs> stress though that like, you know, bad attitudes come in different types of packages, and sometimes it could be you. I've, I've I think I've managed enough mm -hmm. artists, and I've like worked with enough artists to know that like, you're just super dry and like. <laughs> weird <laughs> but you're super with, dry and weird but like and you and you have that weird humor about you that like are you being are you being a dick or are you just kind of like that you know it's like it's like are yeah. you just being an awkward artist are you know like are you excited enthusiastic uh -huh. about what we're talking about or is it more so like okay cool i'll get i'll, I'll do it you know like it's not about exactly. being mean to people or like um or super like super douchey to people. It could be just simple as like you you're too much in your bag of like I'm really introvert. I really don't feel like talking right now, but I'm here going through the motions. I'm kind of excited at times depending on the day. Uh whatever's happening mm -hmm. at home affects a lot. Like those are the type of things that makes you a bad artist to work with. You know that you want to try to put on a good face when you go to work. Not saying not telling you to be fake. Charlie Charlie would never say do that do mm -hmm. that i'd always say be be you uh but you have to understand that like how you present yourself how how you view yourself how your self-esteem about yourself outwardly projects the people that you work with so yeah. and outwardly projects to your bosses and stuff like that so you could be a decent artist and a good artist but have a bad taste mm -hmm. in in your mouth with everybody that works with you because of the way you approach daily work because yeah. like like mm -hmm. you said it's a marathon it's not a it's not a race so like if you're a full-time artist somewhere you're there every day so you can't yeah. be super dry and weird you know at all <laughs> you know at yeah. all and dry yeah. meaning like like bland right bland with your ideas bland with your with your attitude mm -hmm. like no, right. like and it's weird i'm using these words because they sound funny but like bland in the in the fact of like it's just like okay like you're just you're not mad you're not you're not like you know overly like mean you're just it's just okay right. that's mediocre and like you know bosses mm -hmm. and like leads they don't want mediocre they want someone that has fresh ideas they want someone that can come yeah. to the table and like you know knock it out the park or like Mm -hmm. See this mundane thing that they're working on that like, oh, it's just a room, but somehow you did lighting in a way that make the room like pop and feel like mm -hmm. vibrant because that's what you do. You're an artist. You make things look better no matter what it is. Yep. The most lamest idea can be amazing in your hands. That's what you're supposed to do, which kind of is a daunting thing as an artist, right? Like it's kind of like 
you know, a lot to do that 365 days a year or however many days of, of the work year, you know, but like mm-hmm. that's when it, that's when that personality, that other like 80, 90 percent, you know, comes into play of why they picked you because they don't mind working with you late nights or like during the day or average Monday because mm-hmm. Carlos is going to come in and it's going to be Monday and it's going to look like Seattle. And it's going to be all gloomy, but for some reason he made this one concept that made everybody go, "Oh, cool! This is really good. Let's try this," you know. And it's just that's the part of being like, you know, you got to be spicy. You got to keep it. Yeah. You gotta have, you gotta one have of the things that I like to one of the things that I like to brag about a little bit is when I was working at Leo Burnett. There was an art director. He was an executive art director. He was kind of a big deal, but. Um, I heard him say once, man, Carlos is always smiling. If Carlos isn't smiling, something is wrong. Right? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's because yeah. I'm not like whenever I show up to places, I don't go up. I'm not trying to be better than everyone. I'm I'm a, I'm trying to be the best me possible. Mm-hmm. I love laughing and telling stories and doing all that stuff. So that's what you get. If you hire me, yep. that's what you get. Uh, every once in a while, when things go bad, I'll be like, oh, that sucks. But this is how we're going to do it because it's, mm-hmm. I mean, that's just the, how it goes. Just sitting around crying and and having a bad attitude isn't going to get it done any faster. Mm-hmm. Nope. And then, like, if we're in a team together, me walking in with a bad attitude is going to make the days long for you guys. And Miguel, we just got ta- just got done talking before the show started. You were you were pulling OT for the past mm-hmm. small just, amount of time, right? Yeah, this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if we're in an office together, if we're in a room together for twelve to eighteen hours, and you have just a really bad attitude, you can kick rocks. Mm-hmm. I'm not having it. Yeah. So, so yeah, like, just be cool, man. Just be cool. It is not that hard. Yeah, it's optimistic. You know, like, be look, looking on the bright side of things. Right. You know, yeah. and, and, and it's not being fake. It's not being fake happy or anything like that. It's just, it's just being, um, this is your job. You get paid to do, you get paid to make things look good because you're, you're a production artist and, like, this is what you do every day. So, like... Right. Come to work with the best attitude you can come with, and some days you're gonna have you're gonna be you're not you're not gonna be not feeling it. But at the same time, that's when people give you the benefit of the doubt because everybody comes in on Monday after an amazing weekend and be like, "Okay, it's Monday," but everybody's supposed to love their job because we have the no, the best the, jobs want, in the world. You know, you want so, the like, true test. Yeah. You want the true test. Yeah, is Friday afternoon at about one thirty. Two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Three o'clock. One thirty. Yeah. Two o'clock. When now well, everyone know, needs to prove that hours. they that they've been working all week, and it's the production people that get pooped on every time. Mm-hmm. Every time, 